Hello and happy Father's Day. The clip you are about to watch is a brief excerpt from our catechism videos from last week where we talk about the catechism words about fathers and God is Father. The catechism has words of comfort for those who are struggling with their relationships with their fathers or missing their fathers or who for any reason have negative associations attached to the concept of a father. Um, that can be a stumbling block in people's faith, and it's something that the catechism took time to address in a beautiful way. So I hope this excerpt from our catechism videos from last week is a blessing to you and comforts you today. And happy Father's Day to all of the wonderful fathers out there who have given their children the gift of holy fatherhood that does mirror the fatherhood that God wants to provide for us and does provide for us. May God bless you. May you all know that you're in my prayers, especially today, the fathers and the men and women who are struggling and in pain because of their lack of a good father. May God the Father bless you today and send you extra comfort to help you handle that cross and that burden of not having that in your lives. And may we, all of us who did have it in our lives, give God extra thanks today for that gift. God bless and may this help you today. The Son reveals God's eternal fatherhood. The Catechism has a beautiful section on this. Um, given the scope of topics that we have to cover today, I can't go into it fully, but I will very briefly touch on this last line. This is in Catechism 239. Um, it says, God transcends the human distinction between the sexes. He is neither man nor woman. He is God. He also transcends human fatherhood and motherhood although he is their origin and standard. No one is father as God is father. So when we talk about God as father, that can be a very difficult concept for people who have had toxic relationships with their parents or who haven't had parent figures in their lives. Um, there are some people who are blocked from being able to enter into the faith because they struggle so much with this concept of father and attaching all of their negative associations with human fatherhood to God as father. And so the catechism, the fact that the catechism takes time to distinguish that although God identifies as a father and the son reveals the fatherhood of the first person of the Trinity, this fatherhood is so much greater than our, our limited human understanding of what fatherhood means. And again, no one is father as God is father. So those who have been hurt or wounded by the fatherhood relationships that they had or the lack of fathers that they had, they are honestly the people who maybe need to look to God to be their father the most because God is going to be that presence in their lives for them that they never had or that they had in a way that created them pain. God can be a father in a way their fathers never were able to and can help heal some of those hurts in their hearts. Um, it is, I know, you know, it's, it's very difficult to replace what a father is supposed to be in your life, but there is a reason why God presents himself in this way. So many reasons, um, but one of those is, one of the many reasons is so that those who were not gifted the beautiful blessing of a healthy father, they can turn to God and know that he can fill that role for them and he can provide them with that support and guidance and that encouragement that they need that they maybe should have received from their parent figure. So you could do a whole video on that. <laughs> maybe I will in the future. Uh, but I just wanted to, especially given that Father's Day is coming up this weekend, you may be watching this on Father's Day and maybe struggling with some of these painful thoughts in your heart. I just wanted to take time to point out that although we talked about God as Father, God's fatherhood is greater than any fatherhood we've ever experienced here on earth. The good fathers are just a little glimpse of what an amazing father God is, and the bad fathers are not turning to God as the standard for fatherhood that they should be following. Um, so just keep that in your heart if you are someone who has been wounded by your relationship with a parent, mother or father. Um, keep in your heart that God is there to be the parent that you needed and didn't have.